Elena Chowle, 2016 yılında heykeltraş Francesco Albano'nun Maria Laura Cacamo ve Nicolas Grandi ile birlikte tasarladığı bir video çalışması. Biz de bir saat olarak 23 Eylül ve 5 Ekim tarihleri tarihine kadar e, Bill Sart'ın yeni mekanında haftanın üç günü ziyarete açmak üzere e, gösterimini gerçekleştiriyoruz. E, bugün de Francesco Albano ile beraber e, küratör ve sanat yazarı Sinan Eren Erk e, bizle beraber. Çok teşekkür ederiz kendisine de e, bizle birlikte olduğu için. E, öncelikle videoyu hep beraber izleyelim istiyoruz. Zaten sonrasında e, katılacaklar da olacaktır e, bize. O esnada bir videoyu share screen yapmak istiyorum. Bu arada herkes ses sizde, bütün katılımcılar. Sonrasında soru ve yorumları olan olursa şey yapabilirim, mikrofonlarını açabiliriz ya da chatten yazabilirsiniz. Orayı da kontrol ediyor olacağız. Şimdi videoyu izleyip istiyorum hep beraber.
Video buradan paylaştığımızda bazen çok donabiliyor. E, haftaya önümüzdeki hafta itibariyle e, bir sert mekanında e, sergileniyor olacak. E, herkes de bekleriz buradan. Öyle de duyuralım. E, evet Sinan sözü size bırakıyorum. Francesco e, sanırım anmıyor. Edelim onu hemen. Evet Francesco mi şu anda? Okay. Okay. Maybe you might hear you. Yes. <gülüyor> Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, we are here to talk about Melena Chole today with Francesco, uh, Maria, and Nicolas. Um, first of all, we watched the video. It was six minutes and 60 seconds. And then right now we will try to explore a little bit of how it's made and what was the idea behind. So to start, maybe uh, you can introduce a little bit about your work, Francesco. Um, hi, hello, good afternoon to everybody. Um, thank you to Bilsart and to Tankut and Doha and to you, Sinan. And um, again, congratulations to Nicolas and Maria Laura. I mean, just re-watching the video, just as in, I think we made something great. So thank you to everybody. Um, actually, um, it'd be nice, I think, uh, whatever would be the concept is around that, of course, we're going to talk about and we, we're going to touch it. It's interesting the, the, the time, the space and the, the mood, the emotions that has been uh, that provocated, that made it. Um, so the video has been shooted and has been thinking and created in Buenos Aires. Uh, it was in 2016. Uh, it, it, the, 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 the idea of it was just, first of all, the, the stay with uh, Maria Laura, with Laurita, and then uh, meeting Nicolas. The, the need to do something together was something that just uh, take us over, took us over. And then the fortune was that at that time we were taking care about a house of friends in Buenos Aires. And we had the, the fortune to have this huge garden. And at some point we start to hang over, to hang together. And we say, okay, let's do something together as a sculptor, as actress, as a director. And in this meaning, they aim to make a collaboration and to privilege the, the work itself. So. At some point, it, the subject could be more close to something I was still working about as a subject of my personal research in sculpture. Um, Laurita, when I met, uh, she somehow she's embodied 
whatever I've been doing in sculpture for her body, how she is, and, and the story of, his, of her life. And Nicolas is a, f- a brother of life, as in Spanish you could say, hermano de la vida. Así que, it lo, it, what, what, what happened? And just mixing Spanish sometimes, and so uh, I'm seeing her and uh, have a lot of, I would like to speak Spanish with him. Anyway, sorry. Um, we just having we just put our, our our life in it and with our skills, no real. So actually, there was just a trial. There was actually a sculpture I made, just preparing the soil and just fill up a, a pair of tights. And I just say, okay, maybe this could be possible. But the accidental uh, way we're trying it, actually, we just shoot once and it works. I mean. Uh, the music is the by Nicolas. The edition is by Nicolas. But it's something I don't know. It was just coming out like this very spontaneously, and it's it's very good that today we we're talking about. <laughs> you know, it's a yeah. Actually, actually, in your work, when we explore your sculptures and this video in particular, we see that this spontaneity and experimenting is a part. Uh, it plays a huge part. How do you approach your work when you are doing it theoretically and also practically? Um, as, as within the meaning of the, the video, there's a Melaini Chile, which is the um, old Greek language uh, meanings of uh, black bile, uh, which is based on uh, Hippocrates and Galen's theory, the four humans theory, the ten- four temperaments. And especially in Galen's, he's been studying and profounding on the, profundizing on the black bile. So the, 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 the organs, which is the, 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 the spleen that can produce the black bile and possibly in a higher dysfunctional uh, balance within the body or within the other three temperaments can produce melancholy which is the Malayne Chule and uh, elephantizes. That was actually uh, something that served uh, what, what I've been doing, which it was based in what were the uh, food disturbing, and like anorexia and obesity, but beyond the deform- deformation, before the distortion that a sculpture, a painting can have, it was really based based uh, based on something real, such as elephantiasis. So it was very uh, a, a good point. Then uh, beyond all of it, beyond all the um, scientific theory, beyond all of the anthropology, philosophical, and this whatever other thoughts, I think things are moved by emotions. I think more things are moved by. Um, an act of love doesn't mean uh, with with the heart and some arrows in the middle. It's it's a love, love for life. I don't know, curiosity, uh, being a word and destiny, which is the only one that never we talk to us, is managing things for us. So the accident of the destiny and putting ourselves in the condition to make things, and then the things just to make uh, they become what they have to be, because. It's the hard work, the most important things is now who is making it. So it's creating condition that maybe is referred to the randomness and the casualty that you've been asking about right now. In, in the video, we see the, the, uh, the nylon stockings filled with mud and it creates a little um, illusion because at the end, the picture we are, we are seeing is really similar to your sculptures, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was. But this is also random, because your your, your sculpture is also based on randomness. Yeah, it is. It is. It is more or less. Yeah, is it is. I mean, it's it's, it's very important that the, the role has to play the, the the artwork itself, not pretending to being the manipulator of something, um, without forgetting that the. As we were talking a few days ago with you, Sina, and this, this genre of grotesque, where it's my way to make sculpture, making things always went down, has been labeled widely with this grotesque genre, what I'm doing. Well, why we don't try to see like the monstrosity or the, the, the or this kind of figures, 
as the subversion to certain kind of authority. So reading it in a social way, in different way to way, which could be linked to the acephalia, the exercise of acephalia and this and that. So the, 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 the casualty is still at some point, just feeling it that all the symbols that are hidden or revealed or unveiled in the video, uh, the historical one, the iconographical, iconographical one, like the, such as the engraving of Albrecht Dürer, the melancholy one, or a lot of um, cinema movie of first of the 20th century, I don't know, or then on 60s and 70s, um, the concept of the intruder that nowadays must be very common for all of us since we're having an enemy <laughs> which could be the face of your mother or father and but it's within us within his invisibility so it's something very present but it sounds very subversive to me so it it, it would be nice to read in, in that in that way um this psychic envelope that represent by this, the, the, the tides, this fulfilling this. So the representation of uh, feeling a lack of something. So is the representation of desire within a body that in that exact moment was already having something inside. Because as you can see in the video, as Laurita, she's, she's, no, she's very, um, not, not very tall and very, very slim. She wasn't uh, pregnant at that time of our, our daughter, Carmen. So this uh, envelope on the envelope of something which is carrying on, it was, it's very interesting and to me. I don't know, it, it's maybe something that at that time while we were shooting it was very clear that actually come out, comes out when we're talking the previous this talk with you. And it's very interesting as a, as a reading of it. Yeah. But the concept of intruder, actually, it really interests me right now because before you didn't talk about this intruder concept but right now when you're saying that it was we, we we see some examples in cinema or or literature that reminds me immediately the concept of alien the the movie franchise alien but also but also i start to to maybe um try to to understand what is the concept of intruder because right now in the video, we see that the man, the human being, is a kind of intruder because it just, uh, you know, takes the mud from the from the place, from its original place, and fills it to, to inside of his being. But actually, it becomes at the end some kind of the mud itself. But there, there is also the uh, the child that because Maria Laura was pregnant, and then. Who is the intruder actually? Because the yeah. child in, in Maria Laura, maybe we can we can talk about the relationship with, with you and your father, the concept of intruder and the betrayal, maybe you can unfold it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, because if you if you think about the intruder, whatever things could be even related to the dogmatic uh, thoughts, which is belonging to the monotheist from monotheist um, religion. So if there is a, a God that you cannot see, but you have to believe in, and we suggest a book to read about it, but it could be anyone a God. It could be anyone, uh, the authority, the, 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 the up structures that somehow is leading whatever you think. So this term, in this terms, the, the things, yeah, I mean, I mean, is the intruder someone that is related to someone to chase and someone that has been chased by some, someone else? Uh, I mean, the figure, the, 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 the father figure, father figure is something, I mean, which is a, a, a wide meaning, wide meaning uh, on, on what I could say in my case without bringing it as a cases, like uh, you are, I'm the only one in the world, but I don't think it's everybody having to do with this. Is having to do maybe more with the concept of distance and proximity, um, even in the uh, geographic um, wise talking, even in the emotional talking. Since I've been somehow chasing someone, maybe the, the, the ghost of my father, I'm not any Danish prince, but somehow all of us were doing this with, with our, the ghost of our father. 
and maybe he was coming uh, back back to me. Um, I don't know if the, the, the at the end of the day, um, for me, my, my, the meaning of my life at some point was just to kill my father. Of course, it was metaphorically. Um, and then you understand that to kill someone, you have to become this one, uh, which is, um, is a ritually talking is very interesting. Like there is a lot of ritual in I don't know, New Mexico, many, 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 many centuries ago that you know, even the sculpture is present on the on the exhibition now in Bilsart, the scalp is over skinning, peeling the skin of someone, maybe your enemy, and using it as a trophy of it. It's something somehow like it is a, it's the, uh, I didn't say, it's a transformation, is getting the energy, is getting all the, all the destiny also of, of your enemy at the skin through the skin of it. So the betrayal, of course, because at some point, at some point, or I don't know, if you want to show to someone that you're able to match with them, <laughs> and then is the guy is just decide to, to, to leave the, the bus where, where we're doing this, this journey together, of course, you're feeling betrayed. You know, why not? Maybe it would be a bit personal, but this is what I want to actually hear from you because the relationship with you in between you and your father because you told me that after his death you you felt betrayed a little bit no do you believe in some point of your your future you will have the same conversation the same relationship with your daughter uh who knows is it could be <laughs> it could be it could be at the end of the day we are just human being yeah and maybe, uh, um we 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 are in individual you know very different individuals so uh despite the way i'm, I'm not believing that human being learning by their mistakes mm -hmm. i think the i hope in some darwin evolution of the species so <laughs> i hope it's not going to be like this but it was it, the, the, the war and the, the, the hatred or the, the love, which is the same thing, it's the same coin. I think it's more a matter of someone than is not very uh, related to someone else. It's always a trip of someone with his, in, his own trip in, the, in this life. Yeah, I think so. So, so can we read the, the video as like uh, embracing our uh, natura somehow? Because yeah. we, we are betraying to, to, to also to the, to the nature and also ourselves in some point of time. Because the, the, the power of the syncretism um, that rely in, into this video, that laying into the video, which I want to remember is a, is a work that is just a, one of the video that we've been shooting in, in, the, in this month of 2016, together with Nicolas and Laurita. That was, a, we could say is a, a trilogy. That was a, the Ophelia one, and then the maid, which is based exactly on uh, Pasolini's uh, movie Theorema. Um, that's to say that our, 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 our subject at some point started to be the mythopoiesis, the myth poiei. So we were very interested in it. We don't the interest in it. So the 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 the, the way to uh, recreate a myth, uh, we could say that a society that is able to refresh its myth is a society that has you know kind of the 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 the, the fluxes of his of his vein is very circulating. It's going, it's flowing. So that was the meaning. Um, uh, Sunan, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know what was. I mean, some sometimes I think the the making of something is betraying the author. Uh, and then after five years, I could see a lot of things that at that time I couldn't have even noticed. So, <laughs> and then the reading of it is always, you know, like refreshing. And somehow it seems like how only you keep on peeling, and every time is refreshing himself, maintaining its. It's, it's, it's significant and its significance 
and refreshing is a is message if you, if there is one i think so yeah so i assume that you approach your artwork like when it's done it's get liberated from you somehow yeah having to do having to do with the the abandon of things right and just thinking on something like if if we just um put out of our conversation even we can, if we can try out of our, our mind our our action the meaning of the life of most of us what is the contemporary art world or the contemporary society uh, a lot of us that will stop to make art because there is nothing more to to share or to show off so if the act of doing something is the only possible life you have since uh, this could be completely defined as a uh, useless for humanity. It doesn't change. Uh, it doesn't resolve any for for the for the the, the 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 third world or the problem on any world. So it's something that we trying to make some meanings, but doesn't have. At the same time, it has a lot of meaning. It has a lot of meaning. Is the the the, 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 the making of it is the life itself, the creation of some creature as a myth in 2016 in this core of Buenos Aires as this that could be the new Daphne that instead to became a laurel it became a soil uh, it tells a lot it tells a lot about the the refreshing on the mind and the and things that we we, we need as a human being so I don't know is a uh, is interesting then at some point things they have to be what they have to be and you never know when things are done I mean, I cannot say, I mean, this sculpture is done, it's ready for the show. At some point, you just develop uh, a kind of abandon to, towards the object. So when this happened, this is done. Even the, the most impressive things and the most uh, exciting moment of making something is when in, uh, in an empty space, you start to feel, you start to see a shape that just appearing. That's the, that's the most important thing than whatever things is. Then you so maybe just, we can, we can say it's just an act of self expression, maybe, but nothing more, or you have a plan in, in your mind to, or maybe you have, you have something to tell or, or just it's you making something you want to do and how you want to do. I think it's important to get responsibility within, within your own position in the life as a, in terms of a political and social statement, which is the making art is a strong political statement and for strong political times without having to do with the, 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 the parties uh, uh, issues. Um, this is, this is, um, it can be divided between the two verbs, which is uh, take and give. Uh, I, I can, I can recognize, I can recognize that video, that time, that time spent together while Raulita was pregnant and with Nicolas and whatever we tried to build after it, uh, creating a collective, we, we call it Aedo. Um, then we came to Italy, but as you see, we're still connected. Anyway, it was a turning point in our life, at least in Mayans and Laurita's one. Um, I was kind of um, going, going, bringing us to the giving something because we, we became parents, I became a teacher, and again, that is just to open your mind to a different position in life, which I think is more exciting which I think is more, is more responsible, uh, which I think the death will come any day, it can come even after an hour, will find me very proud and very into doing things and making things. So that's the most important thing. Yeah. So after four years that you realized the, the, the video altogether, yeah. what you felt today, for example, when you watched the video, what was your impression? Because it should be, I think, different from from 2016 at some point. Uh, I don't know. It seems to be very representative of that of that time. As I told you before, 
uh, still had the power to show itself in a, even today with the same, the same strength and the same depth. But is is a good memory. This is a memoir of that time. In the, for me, it always will be. But we can ask to Nicolas and to Laurita, which won't, she won't be speaking English, but I can translate because I think it's important. But actually, that was my plan. Actually, yeah, so yeah. We, maybe yeah. we can we can take some words from Nicolas and Maria Laura. In a description, in a very strict description of the video, it would be interesting to talk with Nicholas because I have to be honest, most of the cut video of this is, is very his own talents. And the, yeah, he has to talk. Maybe it would be great to talk on his own. I don't have to put words on it. So, Nicholas, cuando quiera. <laughs> It's whatever you want. Hello? Yes. I'm, I'm here, I'm here. So, well, yes, I think as, as Francesco was saying, no, this, I, th I guess there, you, I, I still see that this power when, when people coming from different fields get together in order to create something, you know, and that synergy that's produced in that, I think it's like a higher kind of uh, energy that's leading, you no, know? and, and that's, that's provoking this thing to happen. And I feel that that energy is very much there, you know, in the, uh, because it means not only sharing and, and, and spending good time together, but it also means, as Francesco said, in, in a po with a political stance, okay, let's sit together and talk across these things, you know, and let's see what we can bring afresh as a symbolic field, you know, into our culture. And I think that's very important nowadays in these times where we need to rethink our images, we need to rethink our language, we need to set new horizons, you know, possibilities. And I, I guess uh, if art has a, a useless thing, it also has a useful thing that it is to bring new imaginations, you know, and in that reimagination that can spill over to politics, can spill over to our practices, can spill over to our discourses. Uh, so it's just offering possibilities of, of thinking afresh, I think. And, and within this synergy that's produced among an actress and a sculptor and a filmmaker, no? this, this, this kind of, of monster come out no? as, a, as a, a thing. We, we don't even know how to define it. No? Uh, but I think that's the beauty of, of this thing when you can't actually enclose it into a, any kind of genre any kind of specific form, no? So there's a new newness to it, to it. So this means that we can actually think of new things that can come, no? So things are not established and it's done and closed. Uh, they're actually quite open in that way. Uh, well, mostly those are my feelings from, from, from seeing it again, no, after some time. Uh, yeah. Because uh, actually uh, we, we talk about the intruder, the concept of intruder, and you, you told us, you gave us the word monster right now, and it's a powerful word, but when just speaking of the video, who or which can be the monster here, or I don't know, maybe all the, uh, the options would be the monster for you, but I'd like to hear your opinion. So is it the mud? Is it the nature itself? Or the woman we see, Maria Laura, Maria Laura, or the baby we, we cannot see, but we somehow understand from the shape of her body. That's really interesting. I think the, the monster actually is related with that that doesn't have limits. No? So the thing that cannot be framed, so it, it, it goes away from the limits we actually know. So that is when things become monstrous, no? when, when our bodies become, are, are not aligned to a particular, let's say, uh, canonical way of, of understanding beauty, for instance. No? And it, it starts to, our skin goes to other directions and they, they don't feel like this kind of bodies that are fully are harmonious and, 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 and so on. Uh, so, but in that way, it's not only, I guess, you can't, can, you can only, Pin it now, pin it down to any particular subject, no, or form. But it's more of a conceptual thing that 
uh, runs across. So the monstrosity is this of breaking boundaries, that, that thing that is not clearly uh, delimited. No? So it, 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 it breaks into other kind of realms. If I can say something, because um, I'm in, I don't know if we, it could be in, in first, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but while you were taking and talking, I just thought of something. Uh, it, the, the intruder could be, since, since is a scene, is a, is a part very of an intimate life between free human being, that, that's what was that time. And the, uh, the, 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 the artwork, that it's of course conventionally thinking is is made by an ex ex exposition to, to show to someone else. Maybe the, the, the intruder is someone who's who's watching it, or it's, maybe sorry to it, interrupt you, but it's maybe all the intruders into this world. I mean, I could see this immaculate world, whatever, despite mm -hmm. the color of the mud. I could see it. Is it very, as you said before, it could be Miriam or could be the Gea, the, 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 the goddess of her. So is that divinity? Is that the divine appearance? At the intruders, is whatever is the link, the psychic, the emotional link is creating between this object that is divine or object and who is looking at it. So the act of looking, the act of devotion of possibly of iconoclastic destruction towards it, that would be the intruder. But maybe it's once more is coming to say, maybe we have to leave us more on this flowing of the mm -hmm. things and no retaining our things. I don't know. It's uh, maybe, I don't know. It's, uh, so, so, so when, when the act of gazing happens. To you if, as you feel as intruder, mm -hmm. look at, <laughs> watching it. Exactly, I'm I'm a kind of intruder in this this situation, but also the artist, and also like you and Nicolas, they you are also the some kind of intruders because Nicolas did the framework of it, yeah. and you 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 made the whole concept, and Maria Laura, she was the the the, the main subject, so you you are like a, uh, the three intruders, yeah, in our minds somehow. So that the, the then I remember that movie that I really liked, that David Lynch movie, The Elephant Man, yeah. which is then we see the sickness of a young boy makes him an intruder and everybody hates him at some, some point. But actually it was the need of love and need of help and everything we see on the screen. So in this, in this sense, if we read, it, read the video that way, can we say that in that in that video, the body that Maria Laura, she was a representing she was representing the the time we are living in, or the situation we are living in? Because in 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 some point, she becomes the intruder, and then the mud, and the baby, and the, the, then after the the nylon stockings that has. A, a crucial role because the nylon stockings are also uh, man-made somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So how we can interpret in, in, in 2012, uh, in 20, this video? Because after the pandemic and after all these disasters happened, like last two years, three years, can we see it in a different way? Nicolas, if you... <laughs> You want? Yeah, I, I find it very interesting in the sense that if you notice, and I remember something that happened that day, but we actually knew a little bit, that after uh, Laurita ended up putting all the mud within those, those stockings, no? she couldn't actually move. It was very difficult for her to move. And then we had to really help her in order to sit her and get that last frame. So there's something of this, of, of but extracting, you no, know, and accumulating, and and just piling up, piling up, piling up until you can't move anymore. So some, some, somehow, it's what is happening with our accumulation culture? What is happening with with this extraction? We we can't th even think of uh, stopping, you no. Know? Yeah. So that's the the, the 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 it seems to be the the, the end of movement at some point, you no? the end of, of 
Is it a problem? Is it a problem of classification in our world? Uh, I because I, I think if you try to overclassify everything, it becomes a burden to you, and then you cannot move because we see the fatigue on her body in the last frames. Totally, 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 totally. The problem of, of, of categories, no? The, and when actually when categories get really, really, uh, um, how to say, uh, solid, no? And they are, mm -hmm. are not, they don't allow themselves to to be porous enough in order to that this kind of relationship we have of our disciplines meeting together, okay? Mm -hmm. And at some point we we just abandon our, our identities of being a sculptor, a filmmaker, and an actress. We all of a sudden became like a unit of creativity. So yeah. there's something of that of when categories get really stuck, you know, uh, that, there, there, there brings a, that brings a problem. Uh, it's interesting, just going to, to the intruder, giving another uh, reading of it, is the, <clears throat> is the, 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 the gigantic uh, and vast the desire that the human being is made by, um, but it's something that is not like the the the, the, the tides that Laurita in the video is fooling it, fooling up with mud. It's never you can never feeling the desire. It's this intruder maybe is desire itself, which is as a uh, one of the face of the coin. If you have a desire, at some point you're gonna deal with the lack of desire, and this the cycling of these two moments is always bringing you unsatisfaction and frustration and somehow this. The most important, also another important side we can maybe talk about is the, within the monstrosity, the abnormality, the, 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 these references to lynch elephant man and a lot of tons of this kind of things. And the colors is made by the, 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 the nonsense palette is made by uh, we can no, never say in any 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 moment that these figures make us uh, this make frightening us. Is somehow he has a kind of tenderness. He has a kind of privacy. Privacy. As I know, I don't know if you, all of us we could see an old woman maybe having a toilet and changing even in, on 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 sea, you know, coming out of the sea and then taking care, drying up her body, is this kind of, how do you say, pudicity that is belonging to a woman, like 80 years old woman, to a baby of four years old. So this is, this is a body, this organism is not, is not a bad figure, is not then a bad images. So it's very interesting as, as the intruder is not the, the bad one, which is going for categories. The intruder is someone unknown, so means is bad or is something that can aggress us. In this case, it's not. Even embodying all of this, but in any, in any case, is something that frightening you. That's interesting, maybe, no? Yeah, also it's somehow incomplete because yeah. when she feels, maybe tries to cover her body with the mud, maybe like we use this word cover somehow, yeah it becomes incomplete because it slips down and the upper body remains intact. So the upper body remains natural somehow, in a way, I don't know. And the lower, bo lower body, we see the traces of the mud and the mud itself just lying down. So that way, the intruder concept, if we are exploring this in your, in your words, the intruder concept becomes a bit I know, irre irre irrelevant somehow. Somehow it becomes a little bit illogical. Then we start to question more and more what is the intruder here? Is, um, yeah, yeah, is, um, oof. It's a uh, hard concept. <laughs> I'm, I'm, going, I'm going always to, to that point because I think it's the only one I have clear in, in any case where we're talking. It's, it's, it's a matter of authority and deal with authority. Um, and when I'm saying authority, authority is just, it's, it's, it's your friend, it's, 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 it's the incapability to understand the others, it's, it's whatever it is makes you feeling unable and capable to live in, in a, in a, in a 
in a kind of balance with life, that's represent authority. This so maybe it's too personal, it talks, but it, is this, is this. Um, the intruder in art is the ghost, which is the mimetic representation, physical re representation, the, the, the object, the sculpture, the tridimensional uh, figure, um, images, which is an object and a sculpture. So that's a ghost of something. That's the phantom in a, in a, in a, in a French language and psychoanalytic uh, reading of it. So the, the phantom of something, the fanta, le fanta, is the images of something. Yeah. So that, that's very important. You know? it's, a, it's something something has also that the, the, the monstrosity and the something we can no, we no recognize as, as we are, so two, two arms and more or less cute or handsome, whatever, having to do with uh, animal and having to do with um, animal instinct. And something we could say, all of us would have a pet with, with a dog or a cat. It, it would be a good character, a good dog, and blah, 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 blah. but all of us, we can agree about something. The dignity that animals have is something that we will never reach. The dignity they have. And I think there is a lot of dignity in this body full of mud and staying in this landscape is important things. I think it is a value quite rare today, nowadays. A... <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because what you're saying is, is a kind of natural flow. Yeah. So you, you, you synchronize yourself with, the, with the, the passage of time, with the flow of time. And only by synchronizing yourself with the flow, you become more kind of natural. And here in the, in the video, we see also that because it's a, a representation of kind of this, the, the, this kind of flow. But when you say the, the, this is the ghost somehow, it, it becomes more um, obvious because the ghost, the concept of ghost is something you are aware of somehow. You, you, you imagine that it exists, but it doesn't or it does, we don't know. But it exists wherever you try to imagine. It follows you. It, it's in everywhere. Like the passage of time, like the, 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 uh, the nature, the, uh, the core of the nature, like Maria Laura in this video. So um, I think, I think, sorry to interrupt you, but I think we are just about um, finishing the, uh, the conversation. So Maybe you, Nicolas or Francesco, maybe you, you will say something to for the closure, or we can take some questions if there is. Yeah, why not? We, yeah, we can have, if there is anyone who want to, if there is any ask, uh, question, yeah, of course, we, we, we're more than open to possibly answer it. Because <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the hour is yeah. just like, you no, know, it was too fast. <laughs> yeah, too fast, too, too fast. This way we can carry on for one hour more. And <laughs> <laughs> I think more than that, but yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, do we have any questions, Dana? Uh, is there any questions or comments? Uh, I think no. Okay, then we can we can continue. So uh, just to finish, maybe unfortunately. Um, what you want to say and then how to how to close the conversation because i'm really bad at it, at it. uh you you <laughs> <laughs> i don't know in the meantime laurita is back with us yeah so, maybe maria laura uh, maybe she wants if, to if she wants something. to say something yeah uh, uh, and we can we can hear you yeah, más en Nico, bueno. Lo vamos a traducir para todo en inglés. Eh, no, lo que pasa es que tuve que ir a dormir a Carmen, por eso. Pero ausente un poco. No, primero, gracias a todos por, nada, por permitir también este espacio para poder mostrar este trabajo tan lindo que, que pudimos hacer entre los tres, con muchas ganas, con ganas, sobre todo el trabajo para mí fue con, con muchas ganas de... de de, de trabajar sobre todas las cosas y por eso pudimos unirnos cada uno en su, 
en su trabajo, por decir, eh, para que salga adelante esto, cada uno con su arte y cada uno aportando lo que, lo que le parecía mejor para este proyecto. Eso quería decir un poco. Um... She's very, she's saying to, thank you for this opportunity to show the video and to show what was, what represent for a, a time where it was important to, to work because I remember that time we were, actually that, that's very interesting, the, the, the way we came across, I mean the way firstly uh, Laurita came across with Nicolas was because Nicolas was um, scripting her for a movie and waiting for um, Uh, the, the, the production support by the Argentinian and the Inca. Let, let's try to say it just so maybe one of them will look at the video and then say, okay, we lose the cushion to make it a nice video with Nicolás and Luca, by the way. Um, so the, the production, the support the, was late, 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 finally never came. So they, they decided to meet each other. Actually, I was in Istanbul that time. So Laurita told me, I just met this Nicolas, seems to be a fantastic person. And we met the three of us. And then say, what are we going to do? We're going to wait that someone such as um, cinematographic industry or gallery or foundation or theater or cinema allow us to be ourselves, or we start to be the intruders just to <laughs> keep on writing this and simply get together and work on our best for the feeling and for the wish to share life firstly. And we are able to share life like this. So been, at that time, we've been able to do in that way. And this, that what it is. That's what, what Laurita said, that she, she's happy for this occasion that represents an important time. And yeah, thanks to this. Thank you, Laurita, also. Um... Any words, Nicolas, from you? Well, uh, first of all, again, thank you for this for this uh, opportunity to continue sharing the work. And I, I, it was very important for me to feel it alive, you know? So how, how this thing of, of revisiting and looking at it with fresh eyes, and the, the, this thing of non-closure, that's really important. And the possibility, that, that, that I think it's linked to this possibility of, of Poetic, no, of the poetics, of, of, of something that allows of new symbolic ways, of new significances to unfold continuously. And I think this is done thankfully to this kind of conversations of unpacking and, and getting new perspective on, 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 on things done. No? So thank you for that. Yeah, in this given time, we could only scratch the surface of the things, but still. I think it was a, a really good conversation because I really enjoyed it talking with you and I hope uh, you, you had the same. So thank you, Francesco, Nicolas, and Maria Thanks. Laura for this opportunity and, and Bill Sartre and also special thanks to Tankut because yeah. he, he, he is the mind behind all of this. And I give you the final word, uh, Zainab, and then we can, we can, I think we can finish. Yeah, thank, thanks to you for, I'm um, sorry, Zainab. Um, it, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. And I hope it's just the first of uh, several times that we're going to share thoughts and things. And um, it, it, it has been a pleasure for me, Sinan, really. Um, we keep in touch. Eh? Uh, no words to describe uh, Tankut, so he knows. Uh, don't sell to me to Borussia Mönchengladbach. He understood what I'm saying. And thanks to Bill Sartre. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Nicolas uh, uh, and to Laurita that I'm just from the corner. But we, we pretend to be social distancing is important. We have to make an example nowadays. <laughs> Yes, thank you to all of you. Uh, it was so nice to meet you, meet you also uh, in Zoom. But <laughs> and uh, Sinan, thank you for this uh, speech. And thank you to all participants. Evet, herkese teşekkürler. Son herkese olarak teşekkür ederiz. Ufak evet. bir Türkçe ile belki bitirmek gerekiyor. Evet. Çok <gülüyor> teşekkürler. Yeniden Emre Sarta, Demirtaş, Mike Kutkaleri'ye bu.
konuşma için ve tabii ki Francesco'ya, Nicolas'a ve Maria Laura'ya bu video için. Evet, sergiyi ve e, videonun yanına eşlikçi olan heykelle beraber e, 5 Ekim'e kadar e, Bilsart'ta görebilirsiniz. Çok teşekkürler herkese. Görüşmek üzere. Thank you Francesco, Nicolas and Maria Laura. Bye bye. Ben çok teşekkür ederim. Bye. Ee, Bilsart için güle güle. Güle güle. Ciao. <gülüyor> so.